okay and what i'm going to do is instead of applying normal force i'm applying shear force and i am interested in what happens if i cut the body like this as usual i am going to take a chunk like that and i am going to draw the free body diagram for this chunk so our normal direction n shear direction t force F one, okay, angle theta, and we knew that this was theta and this was ninety minus theta, and in this case, this length is L one. So again, summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero implies on the face force is. F one in the positive y direction. Notice that the two forces are opposite to each other because this whole thing is in equilibrium. So F one must be minus F one. Summation of moments is not equal to zero. We will worry about that later, okay? Because we, I, it turns out that it doesn't matter to us at this stage because we are only going to look at summation of forces. When we put everything together, then you will see that summation of moments will come in. Right now, don't worry about. It. Okay, so we get this situation. Then I'm going to add a force to this. So if since this is this way, the force is vertical. The force is vertical like that. F1 again, and then I'm going to drop a perpendicular. This is Ft, Fn. We know this angle will be because this is theta. It will be the other one. It will be ninety minus theta. So we can immediately get the following. Let me change it to black again. Change it to this. Oops. Now I'm going to say that. Uh, let us see. Uh, let us see now. Ah, F N. Equals F one cos ninety minus theta, which is F one sine theta. F T is F one sine ninety minus theta, which is F one cos theta. There's nothing to it, right? That's all you have to do. Then we do sigma n n equals F n over a. Which is F n, which is F one sine theta divided by F one sine theta divided by area, which turns out to be L one t times L one over cos theta, which is F one sine theta cos theta. Divided by T L. What's F one over T L? That's the stress on this face, right? So it is the stress on this face, sigma. Now let's see what it is. It will be the face is minus x, the force is minus y. Can you see that? So it is sigma minus x minus y. Again, you notice that will happen to be equal to sigma x y. Face is x. Force is y, so sigma minus x minus y will happen to be equal to sigma x y because of force equilibrium. So what happens is this one will be sigma x y sine theta cos theta. The last piece, okay, is sigma n t, which is f t over a. Which is F one cos theta divided by T L one over cos theta, which is sigma x y cos squared theta. You know you are beginning to get the idea, right? We are going to go on doing this. 
it's cos theta sin theta cos square theta sin square something sin square theta cos square theta sin theta cos theta these are the three things that will show up again and again and again that's all okay so let's look at the last case which is like this this time i am applying a force f2 here i'm applying a force F2 opposite like that. Can you see how I am drawing that force? And I want to make a cut like this. Again, the normal to the cut is this way. This angle is theta. And as usual, I am going to look at this free body diagram. If I look at that free body diagram, I will get like that. Okay. Now, in this case, is it obvious to you that equilibrium will demand that this phase has to be F2 also? That's the force on that phase. The angle is theta. So we are back, you know, by the way, and this is the tangent direction. So again, you will get two, two things here, uh, normal and tangent forces. So I want to write it all down. It will turn out to be, uh, let us see. Uh, Fn, sorry, let me do that in the right color, Fn equals F2 cos theta, Ft equals F2 sin theta and it will be negative, you can see it is pointing negative direction, minus F2 sin theta, area will be now remember, what we know is this width, right? That is L. So this, this distance is L. This angle is theta. Sorry, this angle is theta. So this angle is 90 minus theta. So A will be L over cos 90 minus theta times T, which is LT over sin theta. So, sigma n n equals f n over a, which is uh, f 2 over l t sin theta cos theta. Sigma n t will be minus f 2 over l t sin theta sin square theta. Right? What the heck is F2 over LT? That is the stress on that phase. So, let us see. The normal to this phase is in the minus y direction and the tangent and the direction of the force is in the minus x direction. Well, can you guess what will happen to the negative signs? So, it will turn out to be sigma xy because of equilibrium. Can you see this force? That force have to be the same because of equilibrium. So, you will get that condition again, sigma xy equal to sigma minus x minus y. So, this one, so I am going to write this again, sigma n n equals sigma y x sin theta cos theta. Sigma n t equals minus sigma y x sin square theta. That's it. So now 